Good afternoon, Malaysia. It's a warm day on a Friday, the 28th of July. I'm in the old town of Ipoh, old town part of Ipoh city. And yeah, today I'll be going and walking through, walking through, walking through. Actually, I want to say something. Those old buildings are historically historically historic and uh, the if I'm not mistaken the Sungai Kinta that runs through Ipoh town is here yep and uh, Super Kinta is there uh, Wuli is there Yikfung is there no sorry not Wuli Yikfung so here is the concubine lane or known as in Cantonese Yi Lai Hong back in the old days all the people, the rich Chinese or whatever, they have their concubines or mistresses around here. So let's go have a nice review of this place. Most of them are abandoned. But you can see the pillars. It has been here for so many years. And I guess the mistresses will be hanging up up there waving their scarves and silk or whatnot and bras and panties at their owners. Today we're going to eat something called what you might call it? Kai Si Sao Fan Shredded Chicken uh, Ho Fan Yes, the flat rice noodles and it is at a restaurant called Ping Chun Ping Chun Restaurant I don't know why, if you go into the net, they say that this, uh, what you call it, Kai Si Sao Fan is at the restaurant next to it, but it is not. The best uh, Kai Si Sao Fan is at Ping Chun restaurant. If you use Google Maps and whatnot and uh, food reviewers in the Google Maps, they will direct you to the restaurant next door, which is separate, separating Ping Chun and that restaurant by or with a lane. And what else do I want to say? Uh, that is the best, best, best Kaisi Sao Fan using prawn soup that is sweet and tender. And one day I would like to do a review on this restaurant Wong Ko Ki. It's lunch and it's all uh, dishes. It's quite nice, I think. So we are getting to the lane already. Oh, it's called Tian Chun, not Ping Chun. Tian Chun restaurant. So there is here, Kaisi Salvan, the best here. And this one, restaurant Ipo Kong Heng. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't know whether you can order from here to send it to here, but I've seen people buying popia from here and bringing it to the other side. So besides that, uh, Kaisi Salvan, you have satay. Yep, delicious satay with the satay sauce being quite crunchy with the peanuts. And also, chi chong pan. And also, fish ball noodles, curry noodles and everything else and Ipo Kong Hing has char siu fries or char siu fan popia as I said earlier and the rest and there, there is like always a lot of people in this place and you can see the store owner this is the store with the Kaisi Sao Fan they are always busy and this is the lane with the satay the satay is very tender very nice and satay sauce is good as well and we have already left the concubine lane and we have kangkung, sotong kangkung as well on the other side and chi chong pan how? and if you look around here it is, they have uh, modernized the area and there is a lamp here and some wines, something like grape but not grape because grape cannot, uh, theoretically they cannot live around here you can find grapes in New Zealand. I, I have <coughs> worked in a grape wine area before. Definitely four, I think, <coughs> three days doing tinning work. That means cutting off the excess grapes. I know it's kind of wasteful, but that's how it is. If you have too much, of, too much grapes bunched up together, it will tend to rot and spoil the rest. It's a very calm place, this Ipoh is. I've been in KL for some time now and I've returned here and I see a lot of greenery everywhere and it is very very soothing. So all KL lights 
If you have the chance, come to Ipoh and eat the great food in Ipoh. I can see a clock tower. If you can see, there's a clock tower. I think it's a mosque somewhere around there. And we have some strange pictures akin to the famous pictures found in Penang. I wonder if it is done by the same artist. But as I can see, this one is done by Karim with the signature here. And this one I think is done by that Caucasian artist. There's a door and there's Marilyn Monroe on a bicycle tray show or something. And uh, yeah, this Monroe's place. Oh, this place is called Monroe's place, is it? City of people. It's a very interesting place. So let's go back to the restaurant Tianchun and I'll do a review on the food there. Maybe satays. I think it will cost 80 cents a satay. I know it's expensive, but that's how the prices are like even in Kajang or in uh, KL city center. But the best is always the Kaisi Saofan with this luxurious sweet soup that is to die for. So I'll see you later, alligator.